Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, uh, back to working on our 10 E Monarch lathe here. Uh, previously, we kind of gutted all the electronics out there. We're going to be putting in a new drive system on this thing. Um, got most of the components back here ready to go. Uh, having to, We've been making a few little minor changes to the plan, so I'm not quite ready to start putting everything in here, but we're getting really, really close. But what I do want to do today is I want to get a panel in here that I can really mount most of the drives and the electronics and the components that are going to go in here um, to a board. And it's going to require a little bit of fabrication work, nothing fancy. So I think I mentioned in the previous video, I've got a piece of aluminum plate here. I think it's 18 by 13 inches, if I remember right. And the plan is I want to make a little bracket that'll sit down in this drawer. This is a little drawer on shelves. This is what the original electronic components in the lathe were mounted to. But we're going to build, build a little bracket that will basically just hold this panel up right here in the middle, give us some stability and allow us to uh, come in here and mount what we need to uh, to this panel. Uh, we're gonna have to make a, I think we're gonna have to notch out just a little bit up here to make it properly go in, but uh, nothing but major. We'll kind of figure it out as we go. So I've got some uh, small angle iron that I'm gonna kind of make a bracket out of. That's just gonna bolt down to the, to the floor of this uh, metal tray. Uh, and what the plan is, is that while we're working on it, while we're wiring everything up and, and, and doing some of our initial testing, uh, that I can do it over on the bench. And then when I get everything working and everything kind of finalized, we can just basically take this whole assembly, drop it down there, bolt it in place, and we don't have to mess with it. The wiring too much is uh, already put together. That is the game plan. One thing I will mention is I've had a couple of questions from guys, you know, because we've we're putting together uh i say we and and john up in minnesota the guy that's the electrical engineer that's helping me with this he's really doing that part of it um and kind of figuring out the schematics and what all components are going to be needed I've had several people ask if i would share that information and I, i'm fine with that as long as john's fine with it i'm fine with it i mean it's really his work i don't think it'll be a problem but but here's the deal guys I don't think it's ready to share right now because uh, it is a work in progress. Um, we're going to put everything together, do some testing, make sure everything works like it's supposed to. And uh, we may have to, you know, change some things up. So I really don't want to give anything out right yet. But once we get everything kind of finalized again, if John is OK with it, then uh, yes, I don't mind sharing that and putting it out where uh, people can access it. Uh, so let's get started making a bracket. Uh, to hold this panel so that we can hopefully start bolting components to this and kind of getting our electronics ready to start wiring up. So let's get it done. So here's the game plan. Uh, this tray is just some fairly thick steel. Basically, you got 12 inches from one side to the other. There is a bend down in the corner. So I think what I'm going to do is I got this angle iron and I'm going to make two feet that kind of fit down in the bottom. I'm gonna probably cut it about, you know, an eighth of an inch shorter just to give us clearance in that little radius down in the bottom. And I'm gonna make two feet, one on this side, one on this side. And from that, I'm gonna weld a 90 degree piece coming up to it. And we will just bolt the, the aluminum bracket to that. Uh, so basically just kind of have two T's in here that are holding up. Uh, the iron and we can, like I said, just uh, screw the panel to that. And these will eventually be screwed down to the, the plate here so that they're not going around loose or anything inside the machine. But for right now, it's gonna be loose until we get to that point. So let's go cut some metal and uh, do a little bit of welding. Nothing fancy here at all. Uh, we're just making two T's out of some angle iron. Over here at the marble saw. And we want to cut these a little less than one foot long. So we'll just uh, come in here and clamp that down. Cut right across there. If 
We got our cutting done. So guys, I marked in center punch where I want to drill some holes in these upright brackets uh, for a little screw to go through. And this is what we bolt the panel to. I'm gonna go ahead and get these drilled out. Just a 3 16 inch hole. Got four of them to drill. And I'll just use my little Noga deburring tool to come in here and just uh, deburr these holes, make sure we don't have any sharp corners on them. All right, so we're gonna set this up. We basically wanna weld this upright right about there. Now I've got a little piece of uh, metal for this square to sit on. I'm gonna use this to kinda help get it lined up straight up and down. And I'm also gonna use another square back here behind it to get it square in the other direction. So we'll kinda push everything up right there. So you gotta, got a mark on there where I want it to be welded at. So that looks good. Just gonna tack it at first. And we should be able to weld it now. I think we're ready to kind of assemble this. I have my brackets all welded up kind of over here. And what I want to do is take this plate and we're going to position the holes so that we can uh, get that lined up. Now to position it, I know that I want my plate to be an inch and a half up off the bottom, the tray. So I've got over here a set of shims. Uh, these are from Fireball Tool. They're really cool. Um, they're shims with different thicknesses and they have magnets built into them that's a one inch one that's a half inch one we're just going to put them together i'm going to set these down on the bench and uh, that will give my proper spacing um, for my panel so we're just going to take this now we'll set the panel down on those and uh, from there i'm going to take a pair of vice grips and just Go ahead and clamp these together over here. Get them lined up with the edge of the of the uh, aluminum plate. Okay, that one feels good. There we go. So now should be square. And to make sure we're square, I've got one of the fireball tools again mega squares and we'll put it back behind the plate and um, just confirm and it is it's square um, so we're good there all right now I want to uh, mark the location of my holes so I've got some transfer punches here let me find the right one should be a 3 16 so these punches are all fractional diameters so I just take the punch that's the same size as the hole that I drilled, and there's a center punch in there. And I'm just gonna lightly tap these with a hammer. This aluminum is pretty soft. That should give me a center punch right where each hole needs to be drilled. Another thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna number these and I'm just going to make sure that I've got them kind of marked on each side where they go. This is side one. This will be side two. Just make sure I put it back together the same way. There we go. All right, so now I can go drill these holes and we should be ready to bolt this together. I'm over here at
that drill press, and we're just going to drill those holes right on the center punches. I did um, use the center punch over on the bench and kind of uh, made that little punch mark a little bit larger than what we had, just so we could get a good center on it. But uh, that should get us lined right up with the uh, the uh, uprights that we did. One little trick when you're drilling, notice how I'm kind of pecking, I'm breaking the chip so I don't get that real long stringy chip coming off of there. All right, we got our holes drilled. I'm going to take that drill bit out and I'm going to put a countersink in here. And we're going to countersink the other side so that we can put a uh, recessed flathead screw in there to raise that table up just a bit. And that's just to give a little more room on this side to mount stuff. These uh, screws will be below the surface of the, uh, of the plate. Check that. Yeah, we're below the surface. Perfect. I think we're ready to go uh, put this together. All right, let's see how things go together here. These are just some 1024 flathead screws, 5 eighths of an inch long. Take a wrench on this side, hold that nut, screwdriver on the other side, and just tighten these up. All right. One electrical panel. That's going to work just fine. Let's put it over here in the tray and see how it fits our drawer out and this should fit right down in there and I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom of these where we can um, screw those down to the uh, tray once we get our final installation and all right we are making contact in the back back there just a little bit and I need to notch out a little area on there I was expecting that I just was waiting to get it all put together to see how much and where so let me slide that in there's just a a little place in the casting that dips down back here right there and basically what I need to do is just notch out more or less something like this. This area in here needs to be cut out and it'll work just fine. So let's uh, get that laid out and we'll go do that. I'm gonna take the panel back off and uh, we'll get that done. I'm gonna come in one inch. It needs about three quarter. I'll get, make, make sure I have plenty of clearance. I just got a square here. And we will uh, lay this out. There we go. I'm over at my 26 inch do all band saw, and we're just going to chop this out. got this 
got this notched out. I went ahead and put everything back together, just kind of dry fitting, make sure everything's working like I want. I got my brackets mounted where I want them. Uh, and when I slide the drawer shut now, it goes in. We got clearance in the back. I want to make sure that this front panel here will close up without any problems. There's a couple of pins in the bottom. And then these are just some cam locks. And that is not interfering with anything. We got plenty of clearance in there. So I'm happy with that. So the last little thing I need to do is I did off camera, I drilled some holes in here in the bottom and I want to transfer those holes over to uh, the tray and we're going to drill and I think I'm just going to tap this metal. That's the way that transformer was held down. I'll probably put a longer screw in there where I can put a nut on the bottom too if I want to. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get those marked, drill those holes out, bolt this thing down and I think it'll be plenty rigid enough. Start by just kind of putting a little ink down there in the bottom. I'm not going to be able to put a big center punch in these on this drawer without taking the whole drawer out. But by inking them, it kind of give me something I can scribe into. All right. And again, I have a transfer punch here. It's the same size that I drilled those holes. And I am going to just lightly tap it. And it should imprint in that little ink that I put down there. All right, I'm going to get my hand drill and we'll drill and tap those holes. So I got a number three drill bit in here, which is the size bit for a quarter 28. And we're just going to drill these out. Four holes. Now I've got a, a quarter 28 tap and uh, we're just going to use the drill to power tap these. out this drawer get all that metal shavings out of there we'll take our uh, panel drop it back down in here and I've got some quarter 28 bolts here and we'll just come in here and bolt it down There we go, and that is nice and sturdy. The tray's moving around, but the panel's not. I'm happy with that. Very happy with it. All right, I think we got this knocked out. That is nice and rigid. Um, comes in and out just fine. We can mount our components onto this board. I actually can work on both sides of it, uh, which gives me plenty of uh, mounting space to mount stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. So what I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to take this out. We're actually probably going to take the panel off and uh, get all the holes drilled to mount everything, tapped, put everything on here. And then we're going to, like I said, work with this over on the bench. 
until we get ready to put it in, then we can just come bolt it down. Already got the bolt holes, everything in there, ready to go. I think we got this project knocked out. So with that, I guess that's gonna be a wrap. We will be continuing on with this project uh, very soon. Yep, coming up next is gonna be getting all the components on here. I'm still waiting on just one or two things to come in before I can do that. And, uh, but we'll be starting on that soon and uh, then do some testing and troubleshooting, make sure everything's working right. Once we get everything fine tuned, we can mount this in the lathe and uh, be ready to go. So with that, that's gonna be a wrap. As always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumbs up, comments, greatly appreciated. Hit that bell icon to get notifications when new videos are posted and leave comments down below. Both of those things greatly help out with the analytics on the channel. And uh, guys, as always a big, huge thank you to the supporters out there who support the site. Uh, without your help, I wouldn't be able to do projects like this and share them with you guys uh, and be able to help teach about this stuff. So with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Again, thanks for watching.